Hi, this is going to be a short video on how to make your Dobsonian mobile and how to save your back doing it. I used about $15 worth of parts that I got from Home Depot, actually just three casters, they're about, about a little over $5 each. So I have two Dobsonian telescopes that I use most of the time. Uh, there's an 8-inch and a 12-inch. The first one is an Orion X-T8. Um, I bought this one used, it was in pretty bad shape, but it's, it's all good now, it's all refurbished. Um, and the other one I have is a Jamel 12. Uh, I bought that one used as well. And really the only thing I had to do to that one was to get the mirror resurfaced. Um, and aside from that, it's actually been a really good telescope. Now I've noticed that I'm using the eight inch a lot more. And the reason for that is that I can basically just pick it up and carry it from the workshop into the driveway. The problem with the 12 inch, of course, is that it's really heavy and I find myself often just dragging it or if I have to take it even further I have to disassemble it so I'll just pick the tube up and cart it off and every once in a while when you try to pick up that heavy tube ouch it hurts the back so I wanted to come up with a solution that allowed me to get it quickly from inside the workshop to the driveway and observe the stars. And this video is going to show you how to do that. But just real quick, please push the subscribe button at the bottom. Um, I plan to publish a lot more of these videos, some on little things and some on big things that can improve your Dobsonian experience. Um, so if you can, please push the subscribe button and down in the description, um, I have a way that you can help out the channel as well. Thanks a lot, but let's get started. So first of all, I put these handles on to make this easier to transport, and it is. But for most of the time, uh, I'm taking this telescope basically where I store it in the workshop outside. And I hate to say this, but I generally just drag it out like that. Uh, and that's a lot quicker than disassembling the whole thing. So what I'd like to do is make that step much easier. And I thought about putting casters on the bottom. So something like this, wheels on the bottom of it. Uh, there's a couple challenges to that though. Uh, one is, although that makes it easier to move, when I put it where I'm gonna keep it for the night for observing, uh, I wanna make sure that it, it, it doesn't uh, wobble around. So I'm gonna have to come up with a fix for that. And I think I've, I think I've got an idea for that using three wooden blocks. And I'll, I'll show you that. It's just a little bit of a trick and I'm gonna drill a couple holes. In, a, in the wooden blocks. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to put these three casters on the bottom. Let me flip it over. All right. Uh, here. Here are the magnetic strips from when I put my paper setting circle on. Uh, that's another one of my videos that I have that you can watch if you want. But, so to make this more uh, luggable, at least out to the driveway, I'm going to be putting on these three casters here. Uh, they're going to be just slightly offset from the regular feet. And these feet are all scratched, basically, because I've been dragging them. Now, of course, the challenge is that once I get this out to where I want it to go, um, since these are castering, it might be a little bit wobbly. Um, I had thought about using two that were fixed and one that castered, but then I realized that uh, it'd be awfully hard to steer it because basically this is always moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these as castering, like this, and then I'm going to put, um, I have these, just these blocks, I'm going to put, put two of them together, and I have, uh, I have three sets of these, and I'm just going to, once I get this out to where I'm going, I'm just going to put these right there. Uh, so that'll basically keep it firmly planted to the ground, and if I need to shim it, I can just put uh, spacers in between here to get the base perfectly level with the ground. All right, so all we need to do now is uh, drill four holes for each of these casters and screw them in. It's a fairly straightforward. Probably this part uh, actually probably took more work than attaching these will. So um, let's get started. Uh, one last thing, this hole has been sized to fit over these feet. 
Um, it's also large enough to go over the similar feet that are on the 8-inch Dobsonian. So I can actually use the set of three of these guys for both telescopes. So anyways, something to keep in mind as you go forward with this.